The fascinating story of how Studebaker prepared to solve the problem of desert transportation began many months ago in South Bend, Indiana, the home of century-old Studebaker. Here, Studebaker undertook an exhaustive research program, sweated through a maze of production details, readied its assembly lines with special techniques and installations in order to mass-produce punishment-proof motor cars and trucks to meet the desert on its own terms. And Studebaker succeeded. Here in the Studebaker administration building, the original planning of the new sand vehicles was started. Here, specialists in desert automotive needs outline to engineering executives the transportation problems that you of the Sandlands must face. And in the typical Studebaker spirit of team play, they immediately set to work to translate ideas and drawing board dreams into the hard realities of the production line. Contributing much to this detailed planning were Stanwood W. Sparrow, Studebaker's brilliant vice president in charge of engineering and president of the Society of Automotive Engineers. S.A. Jeffries, Studebaker's executive truck engineer and one of the best minds of the truck industry. And R.A. Hutchinson, president of the Studebaker Export Corporation. Studebaker rolls up its sleeves and goes to work on the desert explorers. There's hustle, bustle, feverish activity as each man eagerly takes on his part of the assignment. The Studebaker Engineering Division begins to blueprint every detail of the ideas that only a few short days ago were mere talk. Draftsmen, designers, body and engine specialists pool their knowledge, trade their skill and experience, contribute precious hours of precious days. Out in the factories, hundreds of new faces begin to appear on the team. Production engineers chart manufacturing procedures. Material control experts corral steel, copper, nuts, bolts, wheels, and gears. The pace quickens, and then out of this jungle of sound, the shrill staccato music of progress roars to a booming crescendo. The first pilot models are ready. Here is Mr. Hutchinson to tell us about these new sand-type vehicles. It is with a feeling of real pride that we of the Studebaker Export Corporation introduce to you who must cope with the desert these special sand-type Studebaker vehicles. From the moment we saw your need to the time that our crated vehicle was ready to be set down at wharf side, we put all our energies and all our resources squarely behind your desert transportation problem. And we're confident that you'll find Studebaker's desert explorers properly designed, skillfully engineered, carefully constructed, easily serviced. We think you'll agree that for protection, for power, for punch, you of the Sandlands will be mighty hard to beat with a Studebaker fleet. Yes, sir, Mr. Hutchinson, mighty hard to beat is this rugged, carefully engineered, well-constructed Studebaker Desert Explorer. And now let's take a look at the passenger car pilot model as it takes a turntable bow. Since these engineering models were virtually hand-built many, many months ago, you'll readily identify their 1949 styling and appearance. And here's the pilot model of the half-ton pickup truck, equipped with a heavy-duty 100-horsepower truck power plant delivering 200 pounds feet of torque. The pilot models finally emerge, ready for action. They're off to the proving ground and their baptism of fire. But wait, the job isn't done, not yet. Here comes the acid test. No car or truck can carry the Studebaker nameplate until it meets the exacting standards of Studebaker's multi-million dollar outdoor laboratory, perhaps the world's finest automotive proving ground. Now comes the shakedown cruise. Watch closely as this veteran test pilot hooks up his recording accelerometer and prepares to check engine performance. He'll chart acceleration, performance in all gears, fuel economy, and he'll note action on grades and turns. Stock models, picked at random from the assembly lines, take a never-ending beating. They're water babies, too. Get a thorough soaking as they plunge headlong and forward through the water bath run. Can the car bite into dust and keep coming back for more? Yes, sir. Can they climb steep hills? You bet. Note how confidently they take the 30% grade. 
And now the Studebaker Desert Explorers start their toughest tests on the rugged surfaces and deep treacherous ripples of the proving ground. These sand-based fields were plowed into a powdery pulp to simulate desert conditions. Experts in desert operations pounded these cars just as relentlessly as they would in the land of Wajid Mafi. They tried to break it down. They couldn't. They hunted out mechanical failure. It just wasn't there. Here's the Studebaker half-ton truck doing its stuff over the same rugged and rippled area at the proving ground. Watch it tear into its work. Note how successfully it challenges the toughest terrain. See how surely, how confidently it floats over the deep ripples keeps its footing, forges on ahead. And it's worth remembering that throughout these tests, this truck exceeded its maximum authorized gross vehicle weight. They passed the first test with colors flying. Now on to more. The desert explorers now move to the shores of Lake Michigan for further testing. Starting at the far end of a long sandy beach, the commander passenger car roars down the sandy waste, deftly makes the turn, and with wheels churning ever forward, it cruises sure-footedly over the sand-strewn hills. Even the desert has few conditions worse than this. The fluffy, loosely packed sand resists the wheels strongly, makes the most powerful engine look to its laurels. Sand is sand everywhere, and a tough customer to face, whether on the Arabian desert or Africa Sahara. You'll be interested to know that Studebaker is making available for desert operations, pickup trucks, and every model in its commander passenger car line. All these units are so designed and built that maximum interchangeability prevails. The truck follows in the car's wake, threading its steady way through the stubborn sand, climbing sand-strewn hills with comparative ease. The entire power plant of the desert explorers, engine, clutch, fan, transmission, electrical equipment, carburetor, is 100% interchangeable. Brakes, wheels, tires, hubs and brake drums, bearings, brake cylinders and propeller shaft joints are identically the same. And here's an extra feature in Studebaker's new Desert Explorers. Even with the big oversized tires, there's no wheel fight on sandy trails or on conventional roads. If you're driving the desert today, and a conventional road tomorrow, you simply correct your tire pressure to suit conditions. Many of us erroneously think that all deserts are invariably hot. Well, hot deserts have their cold spells too. And actually there are cold deserts, a couple of million square miles of them. So in the dead of winter, Studebaker took its desert explorers to the snow-carpeted sand of the Great Lakes dune country. Here they proved conclusively that in all kinds of conditions, in high temperatures or low, they've got what it takes to climb the toughest grade, the highest hill. Oops! These intrepid desert explorers keep on pounding their way through. There's plenty of snow in the air and plenty of work on the schedule for the pickup truck. But to this sturdy, husky engine, it's all part of a day's work. Why do these vehicles stand up under all types of conditions? Here's why. Flanged fenders to protect the body. 900 by 13 tires for sure-footedness, traction, and soft riding. An expertly designed power plant that will run cool and relaxed, no matter how high the mercury rises. A five-blade, specially pitched fan and a seven-pound pressure cap augment the oversized cooling system. An extra heavy-duty radiator, four inches thick, adds further to cooling efficiency. Now for the truck power plant. It's much bigger, more powerful than you'd expect to find in this type of vehicle. A big air cleaner to screen out desert dust. Oversized radiator, five-blade fan, efficient Fram oil filter. A surge tank to go with the big radiator. An easily accessible 19-plate battery. Hefty front springs absorb plenty of jounce and jolt. Double-acting front shock absorbers take the sting out of washboard terrain. Heavy-duty single-stage rear springs work in conjunction with double-acting shock absorbers. Yes, it's springing like this that's the answer to a truck driver's dream. On concrete highways, on camel trails, or on wind-blown desert roadways. 
up and down, but oh, how smooth and level and easy going. It's no wonder that truck drivers last all day on springing like this. Say, speaking of deep bedded comfort, the passenger car deserves a full spotlight too. Note the easy level action of the body as the car glides ship-like over the rutted sand terrain. The springs and shocks do all the work. The driver, why, he just takes it easy. Nice front end, you say, but how about the rear? Well, let's take a look. The shocks and the springs are still doing their stuff. Hit a rock, hit a hummock, hit a soft spot in the sand. The level ride goes on and on, but oh, how smooth. And now you've seen how well these cars and trucks perform under conditions that only men of the desert can fully appreciate. You've seen at first hand the cars and trucks, the specially designed and engineered desert explorers that meet the urgent need for desert worthy vehicles. Every riding, handling and comfort feature built into the desert explorers was put there for one purpose only, to help you of the sandlands meet successfully the unique conditions that only you experience. The new 1950 Desert Explorer has all the unique features you've just seen in the pilot models. Engine, chassis and mechanical advancements that fit it for hard desert duty. What's more, it has the distinctive appearance that will set the pattern for every car with truly advanced styling. And this daringly designed new model is the boldest step yet in fashioning automobiles for smarter looks and safer, more relaxed driving. From the air intake scoop to the flight stream rear fenders, the low-swung new Studebaker is a symphony of power and beauty in every sweeping line, a marvel of riding and handling ease. Desert operators can drive the car of tomorrow today in this 1950 Desert Explorer, for here is the car that heralds the coming new age in motoring.